here at the Sports Medicine and Performance Center at the University of Kansas Health System, the official health care provider of the Chiefs will also care for you at five convenient locations. Get in, get treated, and get back in the game. Yeah, I'm uh, I'll get to these guys in a second, but I mean, it seemed like you got the guys in the trenches really kind of like dictated the, the pace uh, for you guys as the game really went on. Just uh, how big of a difference was that for you guys? Uh, as you kind of, I mean, end up tying it up before half and then, I mean, kind of controlling the tempo there more in the. We knew we were going to have to run the football to win this football game. And um, we had some ups and downs with it. We had some turnovers. We had some times we went for it and didn't get it. And. Um, at the end, though, we put together some real solid drives. We were able to run, uh, run the football and uh, convert some really important third and fourth downs to keep drives alive. Uh, one, to keep their offense off the field, and for us to continue to, you know, to drive down that field. No, one trick, three touchdowns on the ground, and uh, got, I'll, I'll, I'll okay. do you first really okay. quick in that one trick, but I mean, three touchdowns on the ground, and they got another uh, pass there late in the second half uh, that he ended up catching there. Just uh, what can you say about his overall performance? Yeah, just he plays hard every single snap, and that's what I like about him. And you know, the, my favorite thing about Wintrick is when things weren't going well our first couple series, he was the one positive leading the charge in our huddle. And uh, that keeps our guys going where you can have a second half like we had. I mean, defensively, too, I mean, you guys only gave up one offensive touchdown. I right. mean, no uh, 
Uh, Ricky got a fumble recovery there, uh, helping to kind of lead that defense. Uh, just kind of, what, what did you see from the defense that really kind of clicked the night? Yeah, I thought the defense played extremely well and a lot of pressure. And, um, you know, it, it's been a process. We lost a, guys, a lot of guys off defense last year, and these guys are coming together and really forming their own identity. I'm proud of them how they played tonight. I know you mentioned there, I mean, Blue Spring South coming up again to another tough opponent. Uh, just kind of what's it going to take to really have a good week of practice here well, to get ready for them? This is our second uh, year in this league, and we know that every single week it's a great opponent. And it's and you throw out the record, throw out anything you want to, it's going to be a real, well-coached team and a great football team. And uh, we know we're going to have to have a great week of practice to keep moving in the right direction. Okay, that's just about all I have. But right. definitely appreciate the, the interview. Congrats to the win there, too. Thank you. No, I mean, guys, we're going to have 14 holes. A, a hole there pretty early uh, just kind of what's your guys's mindset uh there to as you guys uh kind of got back in there right before half tied up uh you know we past four games like coach said we've gone through a lot of adversity so we didn't really get down on ourselves we know what we can control and we know you know the problems that we have and the things that we can fix to get it working and that's what we did we just fixed little things and got it going uh, and it just kind of seems like you guys aren't, I mean, no, you got four touchdowns, but it seems like you guys are kind of more focused on, I mean, just team environment. Yeah. Uh, so is that really kind of a, one of the keys for you guys this year? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, team effort and stuff. We, we always tell our huddle, you know, hey, it's about 10 yards. Football is a game of 10 yards, and once you get those 10 yards, it's the next 10 yards, next 10 yards. And then, you know, the plays and breaking plays and making great plays will help itself, so. What did you really see was working for the offensive line there to kind of start giving you some bigger holes there as the game went on? Uh, you know, it, it's it's more of a like, you know, tighter holes and just making the holes, you're right. So, you know, I think once they just get it going, it's just that click and they start going. So. And uh, just personally, how did you really feel about your individual performance? Uh, I'm blessed. All the glory to God, man. Couldn't have done it without him. And uh, I'm glad I can come out here and help my teammates and, uh, you know, win the football game. Okay, that's just about all I have. Is there anything else you'd like to add that I didn't really touch on? Or? Nah, okay, I appreciate it. Congrats to the win, too. Okay, Ricky, we'll go on to you, too. I mean, just uh, how's this win really feel? I mean, kind of getting to the 500 marks, obviously pretty pretty big, meaningful for you guys, I'm guessing. Just uh, what, what's this win feeling like? It's like, like we've been, we had a tough, like, past two weeks and stuff. And, like, our, this, practice, this week of practice was really good. Like, the team was, like, really feeling themselves. We, were, we knew what we were, were capable of doing and stuff. It's just like we had we were playing with a chip on our shoulder. Each and every one of us. Everyone was like coming out, being supportive. The sideline was screaming for us, everything. The team felt like as a whole for, for the first time. The team was like a whole. I know one of your one of your big catches and I mean you had that big thirty yard catch or so in the first half, but I mean get even that the third down catch there late uh, to kind of uh, keep that drive going mm -hmm. uh, just uh, how big did that feel for you guys and what did you kind of see on the, developing on that play it was like it, it was just a team putting trust in each and every one the coach put trust in us he put the trust in the quarterback to throw me the ball and stuff he put trust in me to catch it and we knew what we had to do we knew we had to get that third down co uh, conversion and we were set for the game uh, I was kind of talking to coach about it earlier, but I mean, no, uh, you guys only allowed one touchdown, uh, offensive touchdown, I should say, uh, since they got their others on special teams and uh, defensively and everything. Uh, what, what did you really feel like was clicking for you guys defensively? It was everyone was, one thing is just everyone was just at the ball. The ball was in the air, and everyone was swarming to it. And we were playing as a team, like I said earlier, and it, it, felt, it felt really good to see the team wanting to get people down and convert the ball and everything yeah it was really good okay that's just about all i had too but i definitely appreciate the interview and a congrats to the win too I know football is obviously a team game, but I definitely, before I forget, wanted to highlight, I mean, Brian Haney's, uh, I haven't quite seen a overall performance like that without even plant, contributing on the offensive side of the ball. What can you really say about what he did for uh, tonight, uh, special teams and defensively? Yeah, sure, sure. Brian Haney's an athlete. First, he's a 300 meter uh, hurdler state champion, and he brings that speed to the field. Um, he's a competitor. And once he gets the ball, he has no fear. He's going straight ahead. Um, and you've got to you got to have a crew to take him down. Um, so, you know, the interception for the for the touchdown, uh, the punt return were, were pivotal. Our offense was was buttered out this, tonight. So he he really produced some points for us. I know uh, had a tough uh, matchup with going up. Wintrick Williams just kind of seems like one of those bruising backs that just kind of wears on teams uh, as the game goes on. Just uh, what was that scheme wise trying to kind of. Uh, the game plan for that. Well, sure. I mean, that's that was our number one goal was to slow down Lentrick. And, you know, he had that 
300-yard game against Blue Springs, and then uh, you know he's just he's always the last two years he's been he's been the the the, the big time running back for Liberty, and we knew that. And again, we're trying to contain him and, and stuff him, but he's he's a good runner. I, mean, I know it's a long season here, but I mean, first, first loss, I mean, just kind of what, what's your message to the team just to kind of bounce back? Yeah, so we, we had several mistakes in this game uh, all around offense, defense, uh, some on special teams, and we've got to clean it up. You can't, in, in our conference, you can't you can't make mistakes, and, and I think we can clean it up, and I think we got a great team, and, and we can move on. Okay, I think that's the majority of what I have, but was there anything else you'd like to add that I hadn't really touched yeah, I on? I'm good tonight, man. I'm hurting. Okay.